Are we ready? No. No. <laughs> Good afternoon, sports fans. Here we are with Mr. Ray Jury and the commissioner of the Spring Pride Games. We are going to work on uh, getting our game set for the bracketology. So uh, Mr. Jury here is going to be spinning the wheel. And on the wheel is a, a representative from each school. Uh, the first four teams we are spinning for today are the lucky winners of the bye. Uh, so, uh, Ray, why don't you give that sucker a spin and let's see where right, it lands. Commissioner Boblet, here we go. Oh, oh, Kentucky Oh, oh boy. They will be tickled to death with me. They uh, will be tickled to death with you. And what have you heard about that team? Well, uh, from the little information I have seen on your player rosters there, I would say that I would have to pick them as one of the favorites to take it off. Spin that wheel, right? Okay, oh. we got the generals. General. Thomas Nelson High School. Got the second buy. And let me see, who do we got coming out of that team there? Oh, how about Jonathan Harris? Can he play ball? He can play ball. He played with me when I was about 15 years old. I was coaching him in that time and he was a daggone good ball player. So I would well, say that he right. would probably be what the Wait a minute oh. now. It takes more than one. It I know, takes a but team. But I have seen Jonathan put teams on his back and carry him across the river. Let's go for buy number three, Ray. Oh, the ATC. ATC. Hey, Ray. I've heard that they've got the best coach in the district. Yes, and coaching in this type of atmosphere means all of the world. If you've got a good coach that can motivate your team. I'd say you'd be right up there in the top of the game. Go, Misty Roller. All right, Ray, let's see who the fourth lucky buy is. Oh, that is the Bloomfield Elementary. That's B-E-S. So again, the top four buys who will get in set and rest first are O Kentucky Home, Bloomfield Elementary, Thomas Nelson High School, and ATC. All right, Ray, let's get down to business and get this bracket taken care of. All right. Here we go. All right, that looks like Cox's Creek. Cox's Creek Bulldogs. Have you heard any news out of that team, Ray? That is one of them dark horses that in Las Vegas, they would probably then give them a hundred to one, but stranger things have happened. I've that seen it. That is so. true. All right, let's bring on round number six. Go three for three. Ah. Hey, there oh, we go. BMS. All right, number six is BMS. Well, I hear that me. principal's playing. Oh. Yeah. Big tall guy. Yeah, yeah, big tall guy. Gotta hold the big tall guy. You know yep. it. That way I go. always run it. Run your offense through your big guy. That's where you want to do it. Okay, now we're just playing three on three, Ray. I know. Is still, that okay? We still, still need to do that? We still need to run through the big okay. guy. You always want to work on a big guy. Get All right. Big guy involved. Well, big guy, roll it. Let's Here we see. go. Seven is. Let's pick another guy down there. There oh. we go. Number seven is Foster Heights. Okay, Foster Heights, have you heard any news from that local team there? Well, the, the assistant principal over there, he plays with my sixth grade team that I help coach rental coach, and he dominates them little kids. So I wouldn't be surprised if he couldn't dominate the big kids. So. All righty, bring it on, bring it on. Let's go number eight. Oh, Nelson County Cardinals. Uh, All right, you must know something. What is it you know? Well, according to what I'm hearing through the grapevine, and the report out of Las Vegas is, is they're one of the most stacked teams in the district. And they play a lot of basketball in the afternoon. And according to what we're hearing is, they're going to be a handful for who everybody gets them. So. Well, I hope they're as good as that girls team. Well, I do too. I do too. Oh, that would be awesome, awesome. wouldn't yeah, it? Now, yeah. Let's see who is number nine. Oh. Oh, number nine. That is the Academy. 
I haven't heard a thing about Academy, and they're well, just at our back door. Now, Academy has got a couple players that have been sneaking in some practice. What I'm hearing on Sunday afternoon at Oak Kentucky Home Middle, they've been playing a little ball on their own for some of the younger generation. So that's got to make them better. You Ray, I'll tell you what, you got the scoop, man. Hey, when you get as old as I am, you find nothing hides from you anymore. Oh, good deal, Lucille. All right, bring it on, number 10. There we go. And that is Boston. Go Boston Yellow Jackets. And now Boston's down there. They're like the West Coast. Of Nelson County, uh -huh. so I, I I don't get down and see that. That's like Gonzaga out on the West Coast. Everybody says they're all that in a bag of chips. So Boston could be all that in a bag of chips too. You know I that? hope so. I, I hope, hope so, so too. too. All right, let's bring it on. Got two more teams, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Come on, Ray. Well, that's just Jimmy Blake's spot, Commish. I'm sorry. Center. They got one of them dark horses, one of them girls, basketball players. That yeah, and they got a boy basketball player too. That's true. But they that's both true. can't play at the same time. Nope. Only that's one, one of, on the court at a I, time. I have to disagree with the commissioner's ruling on that. I think you ought to be able to put your best players on the floor all the time. No, if I you don't. you get up the big league and substitute. No, that ain't going to happen. Okay. Well, we're I just, we're we're just going to score to 12, Ray. Goodness 12? Right. Yeah, we got, we got so much action there that night, we got to limit it. Man. All right, let's see how long it takes you to get that team. There it is, right there. All right, there it is. That was New Haven. Well, how about that? Do you know anything about that? No, ma'am, I do not know anything about New Haven. Absolutely I, nothing. I, all I know is that they have Josh Whitehouse. That, yeah. Uh, Did he do something to Thomas Nelson? Yes, he was What's a boys basketball on? coach at Thomas Nelson. I, had some, I think he had to do with boys basketball. But now he can play ball. I've seen him play ball, so he can play ball. Well, I'm telling you what, Ray. Just yes, take a look at this bracket. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. A lot of action gonna happen there. That's true. And the people that get by the, with the first buys have a big advantage over these. But in the NCAA, it's usually the teams that play first are bought better and warmed up and have to go and get some second group. That's right. So, you know. I think there's a Cinderella hit in here. Oh, there's always a Cinderella. Well, who would be your Cinderella? Well, let's look at this real quick. I would have to go with possibility uh, ELC, Academy. I like the two guys in the Academy, you know. Okay. So I would so say. So he's that thinking the Academy in ELC, and he's also thinking that the winner of the whole thing is going to be Oak Kentucky Home or Nelson County High School. So, guys. That leaves eight more teams. You all get fired up and let's show Mr. Ray who knows how to play three on three basketball. So Ray, can't wait for the activity to start on Friday, March 18th. Yes ma'am. You're gonna be there, right? Yes ma'am, I'll be there. All right. I'll be there. Right. We got a lot of action before the three on three tournament and we can't wait to see you at the Nelson County Pride Games. That's what you call? Oh, okay.